All right, welcome everybody to another boxing film analysis. This is your host, Mr. BDA, and I'm glad that everybody could be on board for this one. In this episode, part two of the Oscar Valdez versus Miguel Burchelt film analysis. Last episode, we took a look at Oscar Valdez. This one, we're going to be taking a look at Miguel Burchelt. Miguel Burchelt. For more information on both fighters, fellas, check the description below. All right, so let's save some time and let's get right down to it. Now, usually I like to start off by showing a guy's defense, the jab, the footwork. But in this one, we're going to actually start out with the more juicy stuff, the more flashy stuff from this fighter, Miguel Burchelt, and that is his combinations. I mean, this is really... The guy's got iffy defense, a little porous, you know, technique not all that great, but look at him go when he, when he opens up with his combinations. The guy can... You see there, he can counter off the back foot, he can lead with his combinations, doubling up on the left foot, downstairs and upstairs, mixing in uppercuts. He's very different from Valdez. Valdez actually has better technique than, than Burchelt, but Burchelt actually puts his punches together better. And even though he's forcing, you see him there biting down on his uh, gum shield, you're not supposed to really force when you're punching because it tenses you up and it, it makes you lose a little bit of your snap and tires you out, but he's physically strong. So even though sometimes he's not fully turning over his right hand or over ex you know, extending it properly, he you see that he just bangs away at you. And this is against Miguel Roman. He wore him down there with those vicious combinations. And these are like four, five, six punch combinations. Really incredible. He's not afraid to leave, to open himself up. And as you can see, they're countering with his combinations, leading. Sometimes he'll finish with the jab. Sometimes he'll finish with the with the left hook, such as there. So he finishes upstairs, downstairs with jabs, with right hands. Sometimes he'll finish with hooks and uppercuts. I mean, it's just an array of shots that you do not want to be taking. And see there again, beating up poor, poor Miguel Roman, who can crack and who's tough, but. You can't just stand in front of Miguel Burchell when he starts letting these combos go. Uh, he's got, see, you see there, he drops his hands. We're going to take a look at that later on. Some of his deficiencies here at the end. He was just um, flurrying to try to get the stoppage, and he did. He wore him down against Miura. He showed he could box against Miura. I was expecting a bit more of a slugfest. So when he started boxing, I was disappointed. But in hindsight, he showed you Miura might actually be stronger than Burchell. I certainly think, I think he hits harder punch for punch. So Burchell decided, you know what? Let me just box this guy from the outside. Now you can see there he's leaning forward a little bit too much with his chin up in the air, dropping his hands, but it doesn't matter. He's relentless. They're quick combinations. See, they're mixing it up, uppercuts are going to the body as well. So you don't know where the punches are coming from and that distracts fellas. See there again, not perfect technique, but relentless. Then making the guy miss and going to the body. He really did get uh, Miura's respect. Now here, we're going to pause this one and s take a look at it. He throws a right. Miura slips it to try to counter with those big lefts of his. But he telegraphs it, winds it up. So Burchelt sees it coming, weaves under the left, gets out of the way, pivots away towards his right, and then whacks Miura with a right. And the big left hook. And again, you can see the strength of the left hook just boom, shaking Miura to the side. And like I said, Miura, strong fighter. You might remember him from his fights against Uchiyama and Francisco Vargas, that epic fight that he was on his way to winning against Vargas. But uh, eventually Vargas got, got him with a big shot and took him out of there. But Burchelt could have probably done that as well. Probably gotten the best of him, but he decided to box him. And here we see an example of his underrated technique. So let's take a look at that. First of all, speaking of technique, awful technique from Miura. Just, I don't know what the heck he's doing here. Just walking forward, hands down. Burchelt pivots away to his right. Catches him with a right. Catches him with a left hook. Now look at look at um, Burchelt's feet. Here, finally, he gets himself in a nice stance. Right hand. Look at his left foot here. Burchelt's left foot. He drags it back. And then he moves the right. And then he moves the left again back. So he gets himself in an angle. See there, now he's outside of um, Miura's right, left hand and the right hand as well. So the, he can't really get hit here with anything, but he's in a position, again, look at this, boom, boom, transitioning. So he steps back also at the same time a little bit to create space to launch this. Oof, right on the liver. I'm surprised Miura took that heart of a kamikaze. Oof, see that, took it there, drops the elbow, but did not go down, but it hurt him. 
This is against Francisco Vargas. Burchelt essentially uh, beating Vargas at his own game. Look at that. Those, see, mixing in uppercuts and then hooks and then hooking to the body upstairs, doubling up on the left hook. Finishing with jabs. Breaking the guard, really. Let's take a look at this one in slow motion. So, And again, you're going to see some underrated craft from Burchelt. So one, two, again, the right hand, he's not really throwing it properly, but that's not the 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 what the aim here with his shots. These are throwaway shots. So one, two, one. And, and even that one, look at how, boom, sort of pushes Vargas back. So it's a strong punch. Again, physically strong Burchelt. So he throws one, two, one. One, uh, one, a one, two stops, so he's not way too close. There's proper spacing here for him to throw his shots. Left hook, left hook, right hand, jab, and there he smothers himself a little bit. But it just goes to show you different punches from different angles. Left hook, left hook. So he throws here. He was throwing one punch with different hands, right? One, two, one, two, one, two. Here, though, he throws him off for a loop by punching with the same shot makes Vargas have to reset by coming up boom, and he's waiting for him with a right hand so that's the beauty of combination punching you miss with the first you probably catch your opponent with the second and third shots I mean look at that left hook now here you can see a couple of problems I mean we're gonna take a look at the uh, weaknesses later on but you can tell here that the, the right hand the reason why his right hand is not that great technically is because his legs are a little bit too straight up uh, so the chin as well, look at the chin up in the air and he's not fully turning body, but that's not the aim here for him. He throws a short one two, short one two, nice space between the bodies so he can go to the body, boom, left hook to the body, left hook upstairs and you can see how he pushes and shoves Vargas back. Even though Burchell, look at his uh, balance here, not all that great, feet to a little bit too st stuck together and he's sort of leaning back so that left hook is not really see how he's not turning the weight over to the right but with the left hook to the body you can see here how he sits down on the punch so that's a good technique right there sits down on the punch and look how he twists his lead foot he's not twisting the the ankle so that his uh, toes are pointing towards us at the end he's just putting his weight on the toe on the big toe that's how you're supposed to throw a body shot and he's turning the body there, boom, and then finishes upstairs. Kill the body, the head will fall. They're finishing with the jab. I mean, just see those, look at that. Look, I gotta rewind this. I wasn't supposed to rewind this, but look at this right hand here. Middle distance here. You're not really supposed to generate this type of power, but it's just strength. Look at this, boom, and snaps Vargas' head back. He's not even turning the punch over really that much, not lifting the elbow, but that strength right there, man. You can tell why they call him El Escorpion, because he stings like a scorpion. Look at these combinations, up, down, down, up. And again, we're going to take a look at, at some of his craft here. One, two, again, a bit of a shitty one, two, but it's more throwaway shots here. One, two, sits down a little bit. See how he sits down there, just ever so slightly, so he can implode upward with the uppercut. Good swivel there of the body. Boom, left uppercut left hook as opposed to going with the right hand after the uppercut so left uppercut he hits him with the same hand Vargas blocked it and tries to he catches he caught and shoot here see here he catches it and tries to catch Burchelt back but Burchelt puts his hand up just in time to block it so he's defensively responsible there inside outside chain up in the air like I said he tends to um leave his chain up and, and lean into punches a little bit too much but look at that right hand breaking the guard and then the left hand just snapping him he is relentless with the six seven punch combinations really butchering poor Vargas there well, let's take a look at, at, at this combination again all right one right to the body left upstairs left hook again right hand left hook to the body does not get way too close see how he keeps the space here and then he steps back a little bit see that again with the with the right foot steps back to create a different angle and to create more space right uppercut left hook left hook i mean let's let's rewind that and watch in real time right now that we pointed out all the the little wrinkles here so let's go boom 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 look at that 
doubling up on the shots with the same hand, going upstairs, going downstairs. One, two, one, one, one. See the straight shots. Boom. Finishes to the body. Goes upstairs. Whether it's at the middle distance, long range, or real close, up close, the guy will butcher you. And you can tell Vargas' face there looking like minced meat. Look at that. And then finally, the referee jumped in the 11 rounds. Vargas gave it his all. He went, he was willing to go for a second go around against Burchelt. Jump, he jumped on Burchelt early on. He said, you know what, let me just try to see if I can get him out of there early. But Burchelt met him with this incoming fire. Again, look at this combination here. And by this time, though, you can tell Burchelt added more wrinkles to his game. So he's uh, with a little bit more head movement. So see him here slipping the jab. They both dip down. He sees the right hand coming, Burchelt, and he puts his elbow there to sort of roll with the, with the right. Didn't really roll with it 100%, but he catches it. And as soon as he catches it, right uppercut, left uppercut, and then boom, left hook with the same hand that he had just finished previously with. So boom, boom, boom. So the, the thing is, this is also the interesting thing about Burchelt, is as soon as he gets hit, he comes back with something. And see that short left hook. Uh, not lifting the elbow up too much, but uh, look at this. Boom, still shaking up Vargas's head. Because again, I can't stress this enough. Strength does play a factor in boxing. They're breaking his guard with a right hook. More combinations. Doubling up on the right hook. Finishing with the left hook. Finishing upstairs there after going to the body. Changing angles too. That, that's the other thing. He's changing angles now when he throws his combinations. They're fighting off the, the back foot there. Uppercut, uppercut, leading. I mean, geez, Luis, these are good combinations, man. Look at those uppercuts and those hooks flowing, man. He's just flowing with those combinations. Again, not perfect technique. You can see him there forcing them a little bit. Look at the double uppercut. I mean, Burchelt is the guy that's usually uh, out, you know, out slugging his opponents. But in this one. <laughs> He just couldn't do it. Two times, man, he tried. And just getting ripped apart there. Look at that right hand. That right hook that breaks guards. That's what I'm saying. Valdez cannot stay in front of him. And I'm winning here. I'm not talking so much because I'm letting it play out here. And I want to show you. All right, this is the one that I want to show you here. So let's look at this combination. So jab, right uppercut, left hook, left hook. So you see here. Okay, let me. We saw it already, all right? So let me play in slow motion. So jab, right uppercut, left hook. And you see there with that left hook, Vargas sort of, he gets shoved to the side, right? So Burchelt switches angles with him as well with the second left hook here. Boom, see how he, look at his feet here. See how he pivots a little bit? Boom, switches it. Waits for Vargas to come back up. Jab, jab, another right uppercut, another jab, right hook. And as he's throwing the right hook, see how he switches angles here with his feet like we saw earlier so he'll retreat with the right foot and then retreat the left foot i mean he'll retreat with the left foot and then retreat the right foot as well following there see that boom so he switches the angles and he gets vargas out of the way there straight right to the body two left hooks upstairs getting out of the way so again he's not a margarito type come forward guy that's just gonna grind you down at the highest level that's not what he does he'll throw his combos sometimes he'll move around and, 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 and switch angles on you. In this one, look at this. One, two, again, the right hand not perfect. Left hook. And as Vargas is ducking down, see how he changes the angle again? Burchelt, this time, he retreats with the left, and then the right follows. So now he's at a different angle. Left hook, left hook. And then as he's throwing the left hook, he changes angles again. See that, that, that left foot, that, that right foot there? Boom. And he's got Vargas in a different angle. One, two, one, and he made a. They stopped the fight in the corner. Because again, Vargas tried his best, just couldn't do it. Virgil beat him at his own game. Then we got Jason Sosa here, game fighter, strong, explosive. And Varg again, Virgil displaying those combinations here. Nothing fancy, but it's just the importance of letting your hands go. Because here he didn't really hit Sosa with anything. It was just Sosa got tangled up. And by the sheer force and intensity of Virgil's attack, he scored a knockdown. So that's the importance of letting your hands go. They're going to the body. Changing angles again. See that? See how he changes angles? Let's take a look at that again. So one, two. Little left hook. Sosa dips down. 
Burchelt is here, instead of just leaning on him, he says, okay, see that? Retreats with the left, the right foot follows. Again, that same angle that we've been talking about. So he changes the angle, left uppercut upstairs, and there he could have doubled up upstairs. You see Sosa saw it coming, or he thought he was coming. That's why he blocked upstairs. And then Burchelt, again, swift, subtly changes angles again there. See there at the end? So Sosa can't hit him from here with anything really hard. And then, well, he tries to jab, but Varga, uh, Burchelt parries it, dips down with the right, and then comes upstairs and blocks. This is a difficult position to be in here, if, especially if you're trapped by the ropes. Just dipping down like this, if your opponent taps back, and he can catch you while you're coming up, as, as Sosa tried to do here. But at least Burchelt was blocking. Normally, just for your information, if you're dipping down like this, you want to weave towards your left, away from the guy's right, so he, over here. So you can you know, make him miss with the right, and as he's off balance from the momentum of the shot, you can escape via the left. But anyway, that's just a little tidbit right there. More combinations here. That, that, over, that left, right, that right hook of his, of Burchelt's, really does break guys, their guard up. Let's look at this one again. So he's stepping back, because Sosa's coming forward. Burchelt is stepping back, creating space, right hand, left uppercut that pushes uh, Sosa's head up, sets him up for the right, left hook, well, stops here, doesn't let himself get smothered, left hook, right, and again, while he's about to throw the right, he switches angles, see that again there? Look at his feet, drags the left foot back and then the right after the left, and he's in position to launch this left uppercut, the, the, yeah, sort of like a sw uh, shovel hook, right on the plexus. One, two, left hook, a couple of short shots, then uppercuts, there straight shots, showing some defense there, and then countering. So he's starting to counter now. He makes you miss and he'll make you pay. Right hook again, stuns Sosa, straight to the body, more combination steps back. Again, changing that angle. Let's take a look at that again. Up close here, both guys are looking for the right on the inside. Burchell gets to it first, pushes Sosa back and down. Left hook. Hold on, yeah. So right, left hook. And as he's as he's shoving Sosa back, see there with the left hook, how he shoves him there to the side, ragdolling him essentially. A right, a left hook, another right, another left hook another left hook and as he's throwing the right hook again look at that right foot boom see how he changes the angle there so he can throw this Oof, left hook to the body look at that and he get look at how much weight he puts on it and how much he loads up on it whack i mean let's take a look at that in real time here boom 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 boom, boom. and he gets out of the way after the left hook just again not the prettiest of technique, but who cares when you're throwing with this type of conviction? I mean, look at this. Let's take a look at this one as well. Jab, right uppercut, left hook, left hook, and look at that. He's moving while he's punching. Boom, boom. See how he's moving back and pivoting to his left so that poor Sosa. So now poor Sosa has to deal with taking these shots and trying to defend and trying to move forward, but at the same time, he's being manipulated by Burchelt with the shots and Burchelt is leading him where he wants to take him. See here, him pivoting, pivoting, right, left hook, another right hook and then he sets him up after a whole bunch of hooks, boom, sets him up for the body shot and again, as he's throwing the right, look at his feet. Look, at, Well, you can't really see the feet but you can tell a little bit by the angle of the legs how he, set, he sits down for the shot, for the body shot and again, drags that um, right foot back different angle, boom, left hook, and you could see Sosa there oof, bending over a little bit in pain. One, two, one. Just mixing in those uppercuts, man. I mean, my God. Hook, hook, hook. Oof, and this is the one that dropped him. Again, Valdez does this one too, this move a little bit here, where it's straight, 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 but Burchelt a little bit more, something a little bit more to it, a little bit more uh, 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 variety. One, two, left hook and again with the left hook he shoves him to the side so he's like get the fuck out of the way there boom shoves him to the side boom open for the left hook look at this right on the sweet spot and again he's swiveling Sh a shovel hook putting all his weight in there transferring the weight 
and that's all she wrote. Delayed reaction, takes a right hand just for good measure. You can see the narcos there in the background. Very happy with that one. Hook, 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 hook. Again, left hook to the body. Oh, almost dropped him. Changing the angles. They stopped the fight. I mean, you can tell that uh, Sosa was the one coming forward here. He was still game. He's got a lot of heart. But he was taking way too much punishment. He was going to get seriously hurt in there. Probably going to get iced again. I mean, again, probably got dropped again. So the jab. Nah, you know, it's a good jab, first of all, because it's a long jab. And you can see he can jab off the back foot. He can jab a very simple jab off the back foot. He can lead with it as well sometimes. Sometimes he'll keep his head up in the, in the same angle. But it's a nice long jab. Now look at this here, for example. This is in the first Vargas fight. He's retreating with his left hand up. So it's like a shield. The right hand slides off that left. And as he's stepping back. Boom. Just catches. Because see here, because the right hand slid off Vargas's. Uh, Vargas's right hand slid off Burchell's left hand so now he's wide open see here here he lost his momentum there and Varga, uh, Burchell all he didn't need to do was step back and boom now you look again we're talking about imperfect technique from Burchell look at his elbow it's flared up it's not um, tight and close to his to his body but still we're talking about the strength and the timing so good timing here good technique by making him miss making him pay with a heavy jab so good, good for him. So Cedar, he can double up on the jab too a little bit. And this is where his combinations flow from. It's that jab. And, and he can throw it like a 1-2-1 one, one as well. Which is going to be a very good combination against Valdez, who likes to try to do the use the shoulder roll. Here against Miura, again, like I said, he decided to box Miura. This is against the shorter power punching Miguel Roman. Again, Cedar, he's switching. Now he's starting to switch up the angles a little bit when he, he, he'll he dip to the left and then shoot the, the, the jab. So it's a, it's a decent jab, it's a strong jab. Now, the body shots. I want to play you the sound of some of these body shots, right? Burchell. So, angled his body in a bad position. And oh, and another body shot. That's my reaction every time I, I hear those Burchell body shots. Ugh. I mean, it's just... It's painful to listen to. I can't imagine what it must be like to take them. But those body shots, again, see how he just puts he sits down on them and just digs 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 puts all his weight into them again the, the hooks upstairs sometimes he forces them a little bit too much but when he goes downstairs with them i mean and they're jabbing to the body there strangely enough see that again like we saw earlier with the combinations just hook 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 and see that at the end there with the right hand switches angles again see with the feet right hand the right foot back then the left follows and then boom, catches him with the left of the body. Beating Burchelt up to his own at his own game. Left hook upstairs. And see how after the left hook, see how he dips down towards the left. And look at his feet. See there how he's transferring the weight. That's perfect transfer to the weight. And look at the positioning of the shot. Right behind and under the elbow. Oof, and you see Vargas there, sit down and pin that elbow back there. Because those shots will sting you. It doesn't matter who you are. He'll work both sides of the body. Right hands and left hooks. Left hooks right there again. Oof, look at that shot, man. I mean... Again, and here just illustrating how he'll sit down on the shot, load up with it, and again, right under the elbow and behind it. Uh, oh, again, Vargas pin, tries to pin that elbow down. Because it's he felt it, it jolted him. Again, really just open. They're digging up with two right uppercuts to the body. Boom, catching him down there. Again, let's take a look at that here. So left hook upstairs, loads up on it, really swings it wide. Oosh! And again, the uh, Vargas's elbow. He brings it down. He tries to fight back to his to his credit there, but just got worked over both sides of the body. Look at that. See there how he he just feints with the right. Again, wide open, hands down, but boom, big right hook upstairs. And then with the right hook, he gets all he transfers all his weight over to the left and then back to the right. Again, right on the sweet spot there. You see Vargas' elbow again, tried to put it back there because it hurt him. He felt it. Loading up on his body shots. Look at that. That's why you don't want to stand in front of him. The Valdez, forget about uh 
being uh, flashy or whatever. He's got nothing to prove. He needs to he needs to be smart in that fight. So there you go. See, doubling up on the left hook. So jab, Vargas trying to weave or, or, or avoid the right hand upstairs. And look at what Burchell does here. He sees Vargas dipping down. So instead, well, you see that right leg, how he's uh, placing it back again to create distance for this body shot. And then another body shot. And then uh, Vargas misses with the left. So Burchell knows how to create space for those body shots, which is a necessity. Again, now here working over Pool Miguel Roman with those shots. Going to both sides of the body. Loading up on the right. And that one hurt. That one hurt Miguel Roman. Let's take a look at that. So, a little jab there. Pushing back. How did this work? Yeah. Little jab. And then look at the uh, Burchell's left foot. See how he steps in there? Tries to get outside of um, Roman's right foot. But in other words, he's stepping in there, so he's at the right angle to really transfer all this weight. Boom, right on the liver there. And you see Roman, how he pulls back again. <laughs> this is a common theme with Burchell's opponents. Once they hit, get hit with that, oh, they try to cover up as soon as possible, but it's too late. And look at Roman there. See how he's doubling down there, his body there? Because he felt that one. And a straight right that doubles him over there. Just, again, the sheer strength of Burchell here. Very strong. The only, I mean, maybe Tank Davis could stand in front of him, but other than that, I don't see many guys, and I certainly don't see Valdez uh, standing in front of him and doing that. I mean, I know Valdez has power too, but nah, he doesn't have the combinations to to, to stand in there with Burchell. Now Burchell, you know, decent defense though. When you think about it, again, he he when he punches, he leaves his chin up in the air, hands down, but when he wants to not bad defense look at this he slips the left and now see he slips it and now he's in a more tight guard this is what he likes to do he likes to stand in front of his opponent squaring up a little bit but you see him sitting down now his legs aren't as straight up as a uh, as they are when he's on the outside um chin in between his elbows uh, like a little bit of a peekaboo guard there so what he can do is he can actually put the uh, elbows down if he wants to block the body shots the tighter and and shorter you become the easier it is to place those elbows down because you got you're you're like a compact uh, tank, you you're giving very little space for your opponent to hit clean. So, slips the jab, blocks the left, blocks another left hook, and then takes a bit of a right. But thankfully for him, his chin is more or less tucked in there, so there's not a lot of damage done. There are slipping shots. Again, he's he, you can tell he's aware of what's going on. So he jabs. See there, this one I don't like. He jabs and he. Leans a little bit too much, straight legs a little too straight, chin up in the air. But take a look at this. As soon as he sees in that millisecond there that Burchelt is going to come up with attack, he becomes, see how compact he gets? Drops the chin, becomes more compact, and, and, and really pulls that right hand closer to his face, blocks the left hook, and since his chin is tucked in and he's got his uh, uh, hands up, the right hand sort of slides up his skull over his skull so no damage taken there see that boom boom he can also move a little bit as we see here nothing fancy but he knows how to use his legs to get away slip while he's coming forward slipping shots they roll see he put his elbow up there to roll with the right weaving ducking moving keeping his opponents at bay with his long reach leaning back good reflexes parrying head movement to make his opponent miss and stay off balance blocking the right hand to the straight right to the body with his elbows tight guard leaning back trying to counter afterwards leaning back trying to counter afterwards so good defense from Richelt and again this is one of his most recent fights the uh, Sosa fight and you can tell he's been working on defense look at this so he's leaning away from the, the, the throwaway shots here from Sosa so just stepping back stepping back look at his feet here he retreats with the lead foot and then retreats with the right so he can he there's space between his legs he's on the ropes keeps leaning back on the ropes using their elasticity to create more space so that sosa misses with the left hook then he dips down from the right and as he's crouching down he implodes upward boom and makes um sosa miss and and and, and he's pulling his chin up to there see that he's pulling his body up to get away from the left hook now what i don't like is that he's um moving away sliding off the ropes with his hands down his chin up in the air but we'll get to that later you saw that, that he didn't take any shots there against Miura again 
This is the one where he showed us that he could really box right after the Vargas fight. We thought it was going to be a slugfest, but he used his foot sitter changing angles there as he's moving, keeping that jab in, in Miura's face, weaving under the telegraph shots, leaning back from there and then sliding off the ropes, catching him with the left hook and turning, making him miss. This is a beautiful sequence here, showing you that he, listen, the, the, he can come forward with his combinations and, and, and really bust guys up, but now he's showing us that he can do it after defending. Look at this. So Sosa's got him on the ropes, not somewhere Burchard really likes to find himself in. So they both trade jabs. Sosa lands his first a little bit. Burchell sees the right hand coming, so whoop, leans back away from it. See how he dipped down and then leaned back just in time. Good reflexes there from Burchell. So he's on the ropes. Now, instead of just staying there or, or, or standing straight up on the ropes, look at his feet. Again, see how he the right he retreats with the right. So he's got a different angle here because Sosa missed with the right hand, so he's a little bit off balance. So what Burchell does is to create a different angle to get to the body, he'll place that right foot out there in the back. So he's at, I got a different angle here outside of Sosa's body and arms and he whacks him with a left hook and you can see Sosa oof, pulls that left elbow back or that right elbow back I should say boom catches him I'm surprised he didn't drop him left hook to the body and then he blocks that the, the the left hook that came back and he smothers Sosa so let's take a look at that one again in real time just as a final boom boom and then defense again defense after throwing shots and then going back on the offensive so jab right hook left hook and again he's just ragdolling uh sosa who's a strong guy he used to be a football player i believe so jab right hook pushes him towards the left and as he's throwing the left look at the uh, burchell's feet again changing angles see that left hook changes angles so now he's ragdolling sosa and pushing him here pushing him back to the right while he's changing angles another right left hook and then with the second left hook, he dips down and sits down, creates a, another different angle so he can go to the body. There's Sosa saw that one coming and he tried to counter there, but then Burchard leans back and then leans down from the left hook. So he made a miss with two shots there after his own offense. And after Sosa is off balance, Burchard dipped down, pivots, and then boom, catches him with two more shots. So Burchard's starting to become dangerous, man. He's really becoming dangerous because he can he can go on the offensive or he can make you miss and then throw his combinations. I mean, Valdez is going to have to watch out for that. Weaknesses, he's got a whole bunch. As we mentioned before, not the best technique. Here, um, he gets set up for a right. There, see how he throws the jab and leaves the head up in the same angle. And and, and he's uh, see how he's dropping the jab a little bit? He's He should have his chin tucked in more so that it's closer to his left shoulder. So that way he could minimize the damage from overhand rights or essentially counters like this. There again, see how he's got... Look at... Okay, I understand he's on the offensive, but look at how spaced apart his hands are. And chin up in the air, because he's punching down a little bit too. And Vargas goes in with the standard overhand right and catches him right on the chin -aru. They're catching him with... Over, see that he's dropping his hands, head in the same position, catches the right, and then the left hook. Again, here from Jason Sosa. Jason Sosa throws the, the, the left. Burchell tries to stink back with the left, but look at him. Wide open, chin up in the air. There's nothing. His shoulders aren't protecting him. He's, he's not. He doesn't have his chin tucked in. Catches a straight flush right there. Again, swinging. This is what, this is what Valdez is going to want to do. Change levels on Burchell, because as you can tell here, when he starts punching down... He does so by dropping his hands. He's not covering up. And he's wide open. Look at that. Four overhand shots like right there. Because his chin is up in the air. Look at that shot. Again, this is what Valdez... And we saw you in the last film analysis. Valdez, what's his bread and butter? That left hook and overhand rights too. So what he's going to want to do is change levels like this. So see how Vargas changes levels. Burchelt is punching down with him. What you're supposed to do in this type of situation is either you back off a little bit so he can't catch you with those shot overhand shots, or you change levels with the guy so that he can't catch you with his shots. But instead, Burchelt is so, again, you can use his offense against him, his prowess against him, like a matador against a bull. Make him drop his hands 
and catch him with this type of shots. And this one stunned him. Did you, I don't know if you guys saw there, but he was reeling back. So make him miss, make him pay. See, they're getting a little bit too wild and then get caught again. Chain up in the air, hands out of position. He can get hit with left hooks too. Overhand lefts. Oh, it was really brutal. Uh, Miguel Roman, the shortest, shortest guy he's ever fought, is the, the one that really did damage with overhand shots. Let's take a look at that. One, two. And again, the problem with Burchell's right hand, I don't know if you guys can see why it, so, there's something off with it. It's because it's not... He's flaring the elbow, first of all. And he's already extending... See that? How his right is already extended before he even th turns with the shot. You're supposed to really turn the body first toward your left, toward your opponent, and then gradually you start extending the shot. But he's already extending it before he's turning. And this is especially uh, dangerous if you if you got long arms because then you're already extending those long ass orangutan arms of yours and you're not getting the the, the you're you're missing out on all that see because he's turning but he's turning after he's already extended the arm big no no anyway see roman sitting down on the shot making virchel drop his hands and you see virchel dropping his hands gradually there as virchel drops out and then virchel just comes in with a i mean roman just comes in with a standard overhand right catches him stuns him a little bit that one really did stun him again Burchell going in there dropping it see his hands out of position after the uppercut he tries to come in with a left hook boom chin up in the air this is where Valdez he doesn't want to exchange too much with Burchell but he wants to frustrate him with defense make him swing make him uh, get a little too flustered so that he overcommits with his combinations and forgets to cover up and then you can whack him with this type of shots and look at that that hurt him Catch, catching him again there but then Roman's shot started losing sting partly because he was getting battered to the body too but the the, the the target is there man see they're dropping his hands Sosa catching him with shots there taking advantage of those defensive liabilities getting caught with left hooks again see how he's sliding off the, the ropes here but again, look at his hands, chin up in the air, trying to slide off the ropes. This is not what you want to do. You want to try to be compact if you're against the ropes. He's just dropping back, dropping back, feet together, chin up in the air, boom, catches the left hook. Catches the left hook again there. Oof. Jason Sosa gave him a taste of his own medicine there by going to the body and finishing upstairs. Again, look at this. Trying to slide off the ropes, look at his hands. I mean, he's trying to do a good job there with the lead left, trying to keep him at bay, but at this point, see how <laughs> Vargas already cut off the distance and catches him right on the chin. If Valdez catches him retreating like this with his chin up in the air, the type of explosiveness Valdez has, he could short-circuit the Burchelt and drop him. Go to the body too against Burchelt. Why not? Give him a taste of his own medicine. He can be hurt. And we saw that Valdez has good power and he's willing to go to the body. Now, he doesn't have the same type of craft of Vargas here you know at first glance Valdez looks a little bit more flashy than Vargas because he's got better foot movement he can back up, uh, fight off the back foot and all that but Vargas actually has better combinations look at what he did here left uppercut to the body so he makes Burchelt close his elbows right trying to defend for the uppercut so he's wide open for a right hook then Vargas changes here with an uppercut that Burchelt blocks but as he's blocking, he's again closing his elbows there and he's not watching out for this left hook. Oof, and you see there how Burchell sits down a little bit on it and pulls that elbow back. Again, he can be hurt to the body. He's not a he's not a machine. You can take him out with body shots just like he can with, with yourself as well. Beautiful combination from Vargas. There again, going to the body there, hurting him a little bit. V Vargas tried, man. He tried his darnest to chop... Uh, Burchell down to the body but uh, didn't really quite work out this is where you, uh, Valdez is gonna wanna take advantage of a little something again if you if you know Burchell is gonna overextend and overcommit with his shots wait for him to throw his shots and then punch in between and you see Miura he's a thudding puncher okay bigger than Valdez a bigger uh, fighter than Valdez but Valdez has more explosiveness so if he can wait out Burchell and see and he's gonna see this type of shots coming see how he telegraphs in Burchell so Valdez can with his superior hand speed and technique wait for that and catch him as he's throwing sh shots here completely open catches a, a left to the body and you can see Burchell see how he retreats there and pulls that left uh, that uh, 
that right elbow back, oof, because he fell that one. And he actually, it actually took him out of commission for a couple of, a good 10, 20 seconds after that. Roman again, trying there his darnest to get to the body. Sosa as well trying. Sosa again trying. See, they're changing angles too. Overhand rights. Now, this is something interesting. Burchild, when he misses with the right hand, see how he's wide open? Because he's really trying to punch through the ta target. There's a lot of follow-up afterwards. So he's wide open for a counter right. See that there? See how he's open? So you can see Burchild over commits with the right hands. And this is what Valdez is going to be able to take advantage of. Counter with right hands. But he should also counter to the body too. But see that? So he, he's not going to be able to do this all the time. Otherwise, he's going to get stuck there and get struck with combinations. That's the other thing about Burchell too that I don't like. Look at him. When he gets a little bit too desperate, look at him leaning forward, getting off balance, chain up in the air. He's ripe for counters. He's never really fought a good counter puncher yet. And Valdez, if, he's, if he trains properly, he could get him with some of those shots. So, fellas, that's it for this film analysis. Hope you guys enjoy the, the the two installments and let us know what we got wrong, what we got right. Who are you picking for this fight? And I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. All right. So don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the BDA merch store. Don't forget to check out our weekly podcast and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, fellas. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.